Um, so thank you for attending today. Thank you to Commissioner Caselius for your strong support of School Breakfast. Thank you to Kara Hartog for leading the way and embracing School Breakfast in the Burnsville Egan Savage School District. Your enthusiasm is contagious um, for bagging it. Uh, you're a strong advocate for breakfast and we're thankful to have you as a partner. To Superintendent Dennis Carlson for answering the call to serve more school breakfasts. We look forward to having Anoka Hennepin join the ranks of our school breakfast champions and also to Principal Jeremy Tammy for your incredible fashion sense um, and for hosting today's events. And please um, extend our heartfelt thanks for, uh, to your students for, for sharing um, some, some time with us this morning. We've heard a lot about the importance of school breakfast for health and academic success of our children. It is indeed a building block for achievement. Um, I just wanted to lift up a, a couple more champions. So Stevenson Elementary in Fridley has universal breakfast in the classroom, which we know, again, is sort of an easy way uh, to, to get it done and get kids fed. At Bemidji Middle School, grab and go, uh, they have for their sixth grade, their sixth graders, a cart that's in a different wing, so they don't have to walk down the seventh and eighth grade scary hallway. Um, and so some of those things which may seem, you know, um, uh, maybe frivolous to us are, re are realities for, for children. And we want to remove as many barriers as possible for kids to eat breakfast in the morning. And then at Sunnyside Elementary in, in Red Wing, their awareness campaign, including more frequent communication with parents who are our partners in school breakfast, clever colorful posters at student eye level, and promoting breakfast with special events. So um, with mascot day and lip smacking day, uh, every six weeks to encourage breakfast participation. In all of these cases, school breakfast participation rates, especially amongst low-income students, have risen significantly. We congratulate them on their success uh, and thank them for their participation. All of these things demonstrate how schools are doing what works to increase the number of breakfasts served. We hope that today will serve as to start the conversation in school districts across the state to figure out how to expand their school breakfast capacity whether it's through an alternative breakfast model or simply by raising awareness. This is an opportunity to ensure that every child, every child in Minnesota has a full tummy and what they need to be successful. So thank you so much for being here uh, with us today and uh, let's go uh, build this program and have more school breakfast champions throughout the state of Minnesota. Thank you.